Hi again, and welcome back. I'm back in my wormery room, and I'm back to my three bins that I have down here. Last time I shot a video about these three bins, I had just finished harvesting the castings from a single bin, and all the worms that came out of that bin, I had so many that I felt like I had enough to divvy up the worms evenly to make it into a, a three three bin split and it's been four weeks now I wanted to just do a quick update and maybe throw a little bit of food in here let's take a look at what we have here I'm going to point the camera down a little bit and bring it closer so this was the this is one of the three bins there's um there's the other two over here down the ways. We'll get to them later, but I figured one at a time we would um, take the lid off of each of these and check out what's going on. This is the one I think I fed about a week ago. I don't intend to put any additional food into this one. Um, but for now, we're just going to take a quick look at how it's doing. And then, um, and then we'll move on. I already checked underneath. This one has got the most fluid of all the bins and not too many escapees, maybe one or two worms tops. Um, so I'm not too worried about it. And that fluid's been down there since even before I put the worms in. So I don't think my bins are so wet that they're producing fluid. In fact, I'm wondering if I even need to have a catch tray beneath these. Next time I might just go without but you might see the traces of a, a little line over here that I um, dug. I put a little trench in here and I took a, a tray similar to this of chopped up vegetables, kitchen scraps, and I had uh, buried that here in the hopes that maybe it would um, attract a bunch of worms so we can kind of take a peek at them here and see how many there are. <clears throat> so why don't we do that and take a quick look at the trench that I just fed. Here you can see, yep, yeah, they're digging it. You can see once we start looking underneath the surface, the stuff has a really nice airy texture. I've been regularly uh, sort of aerating the whole bin. I don't know if people agree if that's a good idea or not. My, my last thing I want to do is disturb the worms, but um, I think the, yeah, look at all these guys. There's plenty of them, right? I think the, um, they've got some fresh food here. I'm sure that the food that I gave them originally, there's still probably plenty of that in here. Um, I think once I would, once I would start to see a lot of, um, these layer, these leaves on the top vanish, or maybe, maybe some of these larger pieces of cardboard from the bottom are no longer present. Maybe that's when I would start to um, think that it's time for some more food. But I think for now, they should be pretty content. So this bin had been assembled and left to sort of stand for about a month before it got populated with worms. So all the materials inside had a chance to get wet. From day one, I've always suspected that this bin might, might be the, um, the forerunner out of all of them. But uh, I guess really we'll have to see. Um, so that's <clears throat> that's that for this one. Let's uh, let's move down to the next one. Now the next one was the bin that I put together from scratch in the video last time. It was that I'd have one that was ready to go already, and then I would build the other one on on the scene. And I can't remember the video. I might have even built that one in the video. I don't remember. It was maybe a little bit too long, that video, but <laughs> whatever. Some people enjoy this stuff. So this is the next one. This one, um, I think I've given coffee grinds to all of these bins already over the course of time. But this one is um, 
the one I had really intended to put that chopped up broccoli and broccoli leaves into. And, um, or at least a good portion of it. So I was going to take the same approach with this bin, which was to sort of dig a little bit of a trench in which to place the food. So why don't we, uh, why don't we do that over here? I'm just going to grab some material and move it aside. So yeah, you can see, you can see I've been I've been moving things around in these bins. So you can see there's cardboard already floating on top in certain places. So um like I said, I like to aerate these bins and try not to let things settle too hard together and make sure it's got adequate air flow. And also just to allow myself to take a glance at the moisture. Um, content of each bin appears to be so um, I could certainly tell that there weren't as many worms in here while I was digging as there were in that other gully that I uh, or that other trench that I had in the other bin where the food had been placed so I think um, I think after I put the food in here and give it a, a little time I'm sure that this trench will also become a popular spot inside this bin so that should be good enough so why don't we grab some of this stuff here this was already in the refrigerator in the freezer overnight and then after I took it out of the refrigerator I I was able to squeeze it really hard not even that hard and um, ex uh, expel a lot of the moisture that was in the in the veggies because um, you know certainly no need for excess moisture in the bin I don't want to do that so I wanted to um, just mention that, which which I thought was a good thing, because you can even tell it's not as not as damp and um, gooey as it was earlier when I took it out of the the freezer originally. So that looks pretty good. Maybe just a little bit more. I'll save a little bit just in case that other bin looks like it could use it too. Or maybe we'll just put a trench in all three and this way we'll have sort of a, a common place to check for worms each time we pop in on these guys. So I think that'll be our visit with bin number two here. Let's just cover up their little bonanza of food that I just gave them. And let's see, I'm just going to try to leave some sort of a, an indication of the fact that this is where the trench was. So I'm going to, sort of, why don't we just leave it at that. Okay. That's where the hot zone is going to be next time we check on this bin. Cool. So um, that leaves one more. And let's see how that one's turning out. Like I said, this was the um, sort of the unexpected bin, the one that I just sort of at the last minute decided I would make um, when I originally thought I would only have two. So this is the sort of unexpected worm bin number three. Now, just a quick note, on in one of these bins, I think it was actually bin number one, or maybe it was this one. Actually, in the water, in the catch tray, you might have noticed there was a there was a centipede running around um, in the moisture down there, but hopefully he won't find his way back into the bin. Yeah, there's. Um, I think when I pull in that garden compost, the from the the outside compost pile, that's where that's where we um, we got those stupid um, millipedes and centipedes from. So I, I should really be more careful next time I use that material. Now this bin is a little bit. I don't know. Feels seems a little dry. Um, but that might be okay. It might just be the top surface. It's all cardboard and stuff. This bin, let me tell you what I did most recently with this bin. Um, 
if you watched my other videos, I've got a, uh, a time lapse that's been set up. And to populate that time lapse bin, I had to get some worms, some volunteers. So uh, I actually moved the entire contents of this bin to the side and then gradually started doing sort of a screening to manually pull out little clumps of worms until I felt like I had enough to put into that time-lapse container but um and you know and then after that I sort of leveled things out but that's the main reason you see such a disruption here normally you would see all this cardboard on the bottom but since I pretty much turned this bin upside down to get worms from it the um the original layering scheme is just history at this point <laughs> there's just stuff everywhere and I might have even thrown some additional stuff in on top. Maybe that's why it's a bit dry. I think I might have thrown some additional paper material I had laying around in. But, um, yeah, why don't we do what we talked about a moment ago? Why don't we just find a spot in this bin to take a peek, see how the action is. And as long as we're digging, why don't we also create that trench where we're going to put the remainder of those scrapped up veggies. Here and there I see a worm or two, but they're pretty elusive. I see a couple over there. They seem like they're digging the cardboard. I'm wondering if the, um, let's see how deep. Here and there I see one, but not too many. That's fine. When I, when I dug through this bin to pull out worms, I did have, um, a fair amount at that time so I hope I didn't depopulate this bin um, too much I'm not sure if that's possible but I am new to this I don't want to don't want to do things that are bad so tell me if I'm doing anything bad I always take input and feedback even criticism positively so don't don't worry about me I got pretty thick skin when it comes to that stuff so this will be where we're going to dump in the uh, the last of the veggies for these little guys, and then uh, maybe we'll just use up some of this coffee I've been collecting. Actually, maybe I'll just use the rest of it away as as dessert for these guys. They probably like this because it's already bite-sized from their point of view. And maybe they like the caffeine. If there's any caffeine left in it, it must be the caffeine. So, all right. Well, let's level this baby back off, and you know, in this case, maybe the trench is just going to be the place where there is no cardboard. Make it the easier way to identify it. that's pretty obvious isn't it so that's where we're at right now um, not much more to tell all I'm gonna do at this point is just baby basically cover these bins back up and put them back on the shelf but just want to share with everyone how things are progressing one month in after the creation of these three bins and the population of the bins with the worms so I'm gonna go along and feed the rest of these guys with the remainder of this coffee so thanks for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Come back for the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.